Hello, my fellow Pisces. I hope you're doing awesome today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Pisces, if you are here, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. So this is, of course, a timeless reading. Whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. But I am filming this on a Tuesday, Mars Day. Tuesday's ruled by Mars. All about action, passion. So this could be, you know, what actions you need to take. Maybe somebody's going to take some action toward you. Let's find out who's approaching you. Who am I connecting with? Let's see. First card, we have Nine of Wands. We have Sadness. And we have Incoming. Okay. And on the bottom here, we have the Four of Swords. And under that, we have Forgiveness. So, I mean, this could be like somebody that you're hoping to hear from somebody that you you thought that you weren't going to hear from it looks like you're about to hear from them okay the waiting the nine of wands the sadness you know something's incoming with the four of swords you may have thought it was never going to happen with forgiveness under that you know maybe this is somebody that you know you had some kind of relationship with and you're gonna like you know make up kiss and make up um but for others of you if it's not an ex it could just be you know, somebody that you really, you wanted something with. Uh, this could have been somebody that maybe you went on a couple of dates and it just kind of fizzled out, but it's like, damn, I thought this was going great. What the fuck happened? <laughs> so it could be something like that. But I'm just getting that, you know, you felt a spark there. But then it just, like I said, it just kind of fizzled out. Maybe you got into an argument, some kind of disagreement. Maybe they just kind of disappeared and you don't know what happened. There is a sense of confusion here but you're about to get some kind of clarity. They are gonna come back. The thing is, you know, they felt it too, okay? So let's get some details. I mean, this could even be somebody that, you know, is new, like somebody you haven't even like officially met yet. Like maybe somebody you have a crush on at work and you're like, damn, they're, they're just never gonna notice me. It's like, well, looks like they're about to. All right, so let's let's see. We have the King of Wands, fire sign energy. We have the Chariot incoming, Cancer energy. And we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. So whoever this is, they have a lot of attraction for you. I just feel like whenever you were interacting with them the, the last time, whether this is a new person, an old person, or, you know, somebody you haven't, like I said, somebody you haven't even officially communicated with, but it's like you felt something there. They felt it too, but <clears throat> there's some kind of depression, something in their personal life that they are dealing with, and the way that they deal with things, they, they, they become a turtle. They hide in their shell, <laughs> okay? Um, that's how they do it. They avoid that's what I'm picking up on. This person avoids. Um, I feel like they become very easily overwhelmed emotionally. And, you know, whatever this was in their personal life, it was already a lot. And then that connection with you, it was just like, okay, this is just too much. I need to take a step back. Again, avoid, 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 avoid. So this person's very avoidant. But there is going to be this kind of switch, you know, with the chariot and that incoming card. There's going to be a total switch. Because with that King of Wands, there is that, you know, fire in them. Whether they're a fire sign or not, there is that fire in them. And I feel like this, whoever this is, they experience a lot of, like, ups and downs. Uh, for You know, for some of you, they experience, like, kind of extreme ups and downs. I don't know, like, why that is. It could, I just hear for some of them, it could have something to do with their stressful work. Whatever they do for work, it, it stresses them out. And anything I say, you can, you know, flip the roles. Maybe maybe you feel like I'm talking about you right now, and that's, you know, cool. But, yeah, so what else? Potential outcome here. We have the Eight of Wands, communication. They're coming in, and we do have this Ace of Pentacles at the bottom with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So it's like they're coming in with... 
a certain level of stability, something that you didn't get with them before, or something, you know, again, whether they're new, old, it can apply for all situations here, really. You just have to kind of, you know, fit the energy into your situation. But they just, they went through a really stressful time. They pulled back, avoid, 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 avoid. They may have even tried to avoid whatever it was in their life that they were going through. And I just split this deck to shuffle at the chariot. So incoming, major, major like incoming vibes here. Communication. So let's clarify this King of Wands. More details on who this is. Okay, first card. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Ace of Wands. Again, attraction, they're very much, they're into you. And for those of you who are wondering, like, was that all in my head? Like, I felt that spark. Like, why Why did they pull back so much? Or like, why are they avoiding me? Why does it feel like they're borderline ignoring me at times? That's just, again, they. that's how they cope. They like, they turn into a turtle. Like I said, they hide in their shell. Um, but that interest is very much there. They just went through a very like overwhelming time. Like, what was this about? We have the Page of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. I feel like there's a sense of you almost sneaking up on them <laughs> in a way. Like they, they were already kind of going through a shitty time. And it was like right person, wrong time kind of energy, all right? <sighs> and it freaked them out. It's like, why now? Like, this is it. This is all wrong, like the wrong time, no. <laughs> Thank you, universe, but no, not right now. <laughs> so that's like part of the fear, like you startled them. I just keep hearing that you startled them. <laughs> oh God, okay. They, they just weren't expecting this with you. And I just heard they weren't expecting you to be you. Like, I don't know what that means. Like if this is somebody like fairly new, or like even just a crush, you know, whatever, like whatever interaction you had, like they've always like, they've been attracted to you. But whenever they had a conversation with you, or maybe this is future influence, whenever they do have a conversation with you, they don't expect you to be you. It's like, wow, I'm already attracted to Pisces. Now that I'm getting to know them, they're even better. And I that they were kind of almost hoping that you, your personality would suck, <laughs> not gonna lie, because it was such a bad time for them. But then whenever they got to know you, they're like almost disappointed. It's like, damn it, they're amazing. <laughs> okay, so Chariot, oh shit, I'm always doing that. Okay, the world, Ugh, okay. And the Knight of Wands, movement. This person could even be at a distance with the world and chariot. Maybe they moved away for some of you. Maybe they moved away and you thought you would never hear from them again. Or it could just be an emotional distance. You thought that they just pulled away, pulled back for good. Maybe they even like became a total asshole and maybe even like lashed out at you in some way, which is not cool by the way. Um, but again, that's like, Part of their coping thing whenever they, they're stressed out they avoid they run because they need time to themselves they need time to think quiet down the world this person seems to get overstimulated like really easily and they need that space and if they did like hurt your feelings i don't it's not like they wanted to it's just like they were in a panic almost and i'm not giving them excuses if somebody disrespects you you know, fuck that shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles showing up again. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. They just, they needed some kind of time out. You know, whatever they're going through, obviously is going to be different for everybody. I keep hearing work, like whatever they do for work is very stressful. You know, that's just for some of you. We do have Justice here at the bottom, Libra energy. And we have justice, or not justice, judgment. <laughs> we have justice and justice, two justices in this deck. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> but um, judgment, justice and judgment. They were, 
what do they what do they do where they have so much pressure on them like at all times for some of you it could it could have something to do with their family if it's not career but they have at least whenever you were interacting with them they had this period of like just a lot of pressure on them and whenever they had all this pressure on them they just exploded you know i i keep envisioning like them like being like snippy at you or something like that and and then they stopped talking to you after that it was just some kind of like heat heat of the moment kind of thing and that's something that they regret that's something that they feel bad about and probably i mean probably made you feel sad too um and that could be you know why that forgiveness is here maybe they want your forgiveness for that but that's just for some of you for others of you I, I just hear like there's some kind of like mutual interest where you may have put yourself out there a certain way and they made you feel rejected and that hurt your your feelings and that could be another reason why they want forgiveness because they feel that too they just going through it like I said it's like right person wrong mother flipping time <laughs> okay so the hermit why is the hermit here we have the Four of Swords. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. So there is basically a repeating message here. They just, they needed to pull back. They needed to heal. They needed to like regain control of themselves. Because I don't think, whatever phase they're going through in their life, I don't think that's necessarily how it always is in their life. It's just something's happened or at that time where they had all this pressure like i just keep hearing like pressure like they couldn't take it they panicked they were very much in like panic attack mode around the time whenever you met and then they disappear possibly or communication is just lost in some way or slows down and you're left confused because there is a strong connection here there is a lot of attraction Okay, so Eight of Wands, potential outcome. What's this communication about? We have the Two of Cups. They want a chance with you. We have the Star. They want another chance with you. Aquarius energy. So this person totally, they want to come in. They want to They want to apologize. They want to explain themselves. They want to, at the very least, apologize and explain themselves. Again, whether they're old, new, whatever the case is for you. They want to explain themselves. They want to apologize. How many times am I going to say that for real? Uh, <laughs> but they want another chance. You know, their their true intention here is that they want another chance with you. Right person, wrong time. But things have started settling down and now they want to come toward you. They want another chance. And I keep saying that. It's like, it's almost like a desperate energy. Like, please, I want another chance. I want another chance, <laughs> you know? It's almost pan this person's very panicky. They they might have issues with anxiety. And then whatever they were going through just did not help. They were like in f uh, fight or flight mode. And it wasn't because of you. Like I said, you didn't scare them away. It wasn't that. It was they were already dealing with something. Okay, so. Anything else Pisces needs to know about this? We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the eight of pentacles. There's that, that pressure that... I just, I'm looking at this and I just see like somebody working with the devil on their back. It's like all this pressure, all this like just being just completely enveloped in this like pressure. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. We have the five of wands. And we have the Knight of Swords, so again, that incoming communication, and then the star here at the bottom, Aquarius energy again. <sighs> I feel like the cards are just repeating the message, basically. Uh, they're just going through a really hard time, and they want so bad for, for you to understand. They want the second chance. 
with the star showing up twice, this could be, you know, some aspect of like destiny, some kind of pre-planned soul contract kind of thing going on. So let me look into that. We have the two of swords. We have the page of wands. We have the tower. And we have the ace of swords. Why is a tower here? We have the six of cups. Oh, we have the five of pentacles. And we have the ten of cups. <sighs> okay, so this is kind of a, a weird message, but there is some kind of like karma here. I don't know how to, to describe it, but it's like there's karma. Okay, this got kind of deep really quickly. There's karma between the two of you. So this is some kind of past life karmic soul connection going on, soulmate. Um, but whatever it is that they went through, this pressure, this bad time, it's almost like they paid some kind of karmic debt so that whenever the two of you finally come together, if you choose to give them another chance, it, it could lead to the Ten of Cups. Like almost like a karma free relationship. Does that make sense? Like this, I don't even know if I'm describing that well. It's like whatever messed up situation they were dealing with, it was like the last little bit of like karmic debt. I don't, I just keep hearing karmic debt. <laughs> this is so weird. Like I don't really believe that, you know, the universe punishes us, <laughs> but it's almost like they had to experience something that you went through, that possibly that they put you through in a past life. So that whenever you come together, there is no like emotional or spiritual baggage. I don't, that sounds so out there and weird, but that's <laughs> what I'm getting. Huh, that's weird. And maybe even for some of you, if this is like an ex or something, maybe they hurt you in a certain way. And they had to experience something similar to that before you guys could like come back together and kiss and make up. Does that make sense? And for others of you, it's a past life thing. Something that they put you through in a past life. Maybe not the same exact thing, but like a similar like emotional pain. And they had to experience that so that you guys could come together. Huh. Okay, well that got really deep, <laughs> but definitely a pretty deep connection here. You felt the spark, they felt the spark. They just didn't really make it known right away and that may have caused you some con confusion, but expect this communication to come in and clear uh, clear some things up because they're coming in. They want some forgiveness. They want some, they want some second chance. I don't know why I wanted to phrase it that way, but uh, yeah, they're coming back in. Ready or not, here they come. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is your reading today, Pisces. If that resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis or middle finger emojis in the comments below. Be Use the middle fingers at your own risk though because sometimes YouTube just takes them down because I don't know, I think they're funny. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I picked those, but, um, but yeah like and subscribe. I also provide or offer personal reading. So if you're interested in that, my email's in the description box below, bananachipstarot at protonmail.com. But yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.